Welcome to Deep Lizard. I'm Mandy and we are so excited because today is the official release date of our brand new first ever premium Deep Lizard course, an introduction to generative adversarial networks. In the last episode, we gave a bit of a sneak peek regarding the brand new introduction to GAN's course. And we talked about how you could get early access and discounts for members of the Deep Lizard Hive Mind. And now in this episode, we're going to go over all the details about the course, like what the prerequisites are, what you'll learn, we'll look at the course syllabus and much more. And if you are interested in registering for the course, then I encourage you to check the description for this video as there are still some special discount codes available and they are on a first come first serve basis. So grab them while you can. All right, welcome to the course page for the brand new premium course and introduction to generative adversarial networks. We're going to be dissecting this page so that we can convey all of the information about this new course. So as you see here, right up underneath the title, we are taking an approach to teaching, which involves learning about the intuition, the math, and the code behind the fundamental concepts of GANs or generative adversarial networks. This course is loaded with a ton of info for anyone who's interested in learning about GANs. And within the course, we'll start from the absolute basics by developing an intuition for the fundamental building blocks of GANs, and then we'll explore the math behind how GANs work. And by the end of the course, we'll be developing full GAN code projects across two neural network APIs. The entire course is completely self-paced, so you're free to take as little or as long as you'd like to move through and simmer on any of the material, because once you register, you'll have a lifetime access to the course contents. So as you can see, this course is labeled as advanced because it assumes a few prerequisites. Those prerequisites include having a basic understanding of deep learning and neural networks, some basic coding skills and Python experience. And additionally, it is recommended to have some neural network API experience as well, like with TensorFlow or PyTorch, for example, but this isn't fully required. To check out more detailed information about the prerequisites required for this course, check out the corresponding blog for this episode where we've listed several resources for you to be able to meet the prerequisites before registering for this course. All right, so next we have our instructor listed. That is me. So I am the sole instructor for this entire course. So I will be with you from start to finish. So now over here in this section, we have kind of just a summary of what the course includes. So by registering for the course, you'll unlock lifetime access to over 30 ad-free 4K video lessons. We've got 70 plus pages of fully written comprehensive lecture notes for each lesson. We have custom made quizzes for each lesson, download access to all code files used in the course, and exclusive access to the Discord server that's available solely to students of the course. And we also have some customized visual graphics and interactive demos created solely for this course to aid in the learning process. And all of the code used in this course is regularly tested and maintained to provide updates and fixes if any arise. As you can see highlighted here, we will be using both PyTorch and TensorFlow APIs in our code projects, and we'll elaborate more on this point in just a minute. So we'll continue exploring this page now by scrolling down, but before we do, here are some important buttons for you. So you can find out more details about everything that we are discussing in this episode by clicking on the more details button. You can of course register for the course by clicking the buy now button and purchasing it. And additionally, we have available the full first lesson of the course that you can preview by clicking on this button here. So now we'll scroll down a bit and we will talk about what you'll learn in this course. A natural way for us to approach a new topic is by studying its origin and history. And so through the course, we'll have a bit of a history lesson as we explore the origins of GANs and work our way up to the progression of deep convolutional GANs. Through this journey, we'll gain knowledge of and experience with the key components of generative adversarial networks. And then in a later course, we'll be able to build upon this base to work our way up to current state-of-the-art models. 
Here, we have listed some key fundamental points for what we'll be learning through the course. So I won't actually read them aloud here because there are several and I am confident in your reading ability. So take the time to pause the episode and check out all of these points here to get a high level overview of the dif different topics that we'll be dissecting throughout the course. So we'll now scroll down to the next section to learn about the course technologies that we'll be working with in this course. Throughout this course, we'll be working with the most popular and efficient technologies for coding and communication. All code in this course will be written in Python, which of course is an open source programming language ranking the most popular language for data science and machine learning. And all Python code will be written within Jupyter Notebooks, which we know are intuitive web-based interactive computational environments that allow us to create Python programs. And by registering for the course, you'll gain full download access to the fully written notebooks used throughout our projects. You can choose to run these programs locally on your local environment if you have access to one, or you can run them within a Google Colab environment. The GAN projects in this course will be completed using the top two most popular machine learning libraries that we mentioned earlier, PyTorch and TensorFlow. In case you're not familiar, PyTorch is a free and open source machine learning library developed by Facebook's AI Research Lab, and it's heavily used for training and inference of deep neural networks. Similarly, TensorFlow is also a free and open source machine learning library with a focus on deep neural networks and was developed by the Google Brain team. Oftentimes, we may tend to choose just one of these APIs and label it as our favorite and stick with it. But we like the idea of learning a concept fundamentally first and then implementing it across APIs. This not only gives us further programming experience across libraries that may be of interest to potential employers, for example, but it also strengthens our understanding of the underlying concepts as we implement them in multiple ways. This is why the code projects and demos in the course will be implemented across both PyTorch and TensorFlow from start to finish. And finally, in terms of the technologies used in this course, by registering for the course, you will gain access to the exclusive course Discord server. And this is a chat environment where we can discuss the course and other topics of interest, exchange ideas, and collaborate. Now we'll scroll down to the next section of the course page, which highlights the course syllabus. So here we have the entire syllabus laid out with a ton of detail for what is included in each lesson of the course. And we have these collapsible parts and sections of the syllabus. So if I collapse section one and two, we can see we have part one of the course, part two of the course, and we can see at a high level overview all of the sections included in the course. So in part one of the course, we have our introduction to generative adversarial networks, where we'll be covering GAN components in section one, and in section two, we will be covering GAN training. And if I expand section one, then you can get an idea of all of the lessons that are included in this section. So you can see the titles as well as what's included in the actual lesson itself. So we can just scroll down and get an overview here of these different lessons. We can do the same by looking at the lessons in section two for GAN training, for example. And of course, you can expand all of these sections here to check out part two of the course, uh, which includes the GAN code project. So let me just collapse section one again. For the GAN code project covered in part two, it will be broken down into four sections, all with a coding focus. So section one, we will be covering deep convolutional GANs. Section two, we will be doing a DC GAN PyTorch code implementation. This is going to be our first project here. And in section three, we're going to be implementing that project in TensorFlow with the TensorFlow code implementation. And then finally, in section four, we have some additional code demos for fundamental topics. So feel free to expand these sections at your own time and check out all of the different lessons and what they include. So we'll just scroll back up to the top of the syllabus here. And as mentioned earlier, this first lesson is available as a full preview. So you can click on this lesson now. You can get an idea for the feel of the course and just see what we cover in that first lesson. 
but to unlock all of the remaining lessons, you will need to register for the course. So registration includes two steps. One is that you'll need to create an account on deeplizzard.com, and two is that you'll need to actually purchase the course. All of the details for this registration process are listed in the corresponding blog for this episode, so check that out for more explicit instructions if you need them. So now it takes some time going over this course page so that you can understand what all is included in the course, as well as checking out the corresponding blog for this episode on deeplizzard.com, which includes all of the information here that we talked about in full detail. And don't forget that you can check out the full first lesson of the course as a course preview right now. We hope that you are as excited about the course as we are. We've been working really long and really hard on this course to make it the absolute best. So we're so happy to finally be able to share it with all of you. And I look forward to seeing you there. Hey, thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. To see more content from us, check out our second channel called Deep Blizzard Vlog on YouTube. And be sure to check out the corresponding blog for this episode on deepblizzard.com for additional resources. And while you're at it, consider joining the Deep Blizzard Hive Mind, where you'll gain access to exclusive perks and rewards. Thanks for contributing to Collective Intelligence. I'll see you next time.